the show is going to be all about Uganda and I've got two very, very special ladies. So let me start with Azawi. I was just playing her music. We played you and we have been championing her music on Trace FM. And of course, we are Trace East Africa. We're all about repping for East Africa. So shout out to Azawi in the building. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing, love? I'm doing okay. You're doing okay? Yeah. Listen good. to that voice. Is that your morning voice? Yeah, this is how I talk. This is how you talk? Yeah. I love it. It's very calm and also very evident in your music. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. All right, so she's in the building. And then I have got the super, super energetic. You know, everything about her is always bubbly. Sheila, <laughs> how's it? How's it? What, what's that supposed to mean? No, you, you, you are a representation of energy. Oh, okay. You get like, Thank you. there's nothing about you that's ever, you know, what do you call it? You know, Sheila, I mean, yeah. in Kampala. She, Calvin yeah. have, she, hasn't she. had me. You have not, never seen me angry or had me. No, never. No, 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 no. You need there's, to follow me on Twitter. Th- there's, one time, <laughs> there's one time you were angry on mm. phone. Mm. You were explaining a situation. We'll talk about that later. Okay. But that's that. But generally good vibes. <laughs> okay. First and foremost, both of you, welcome to the studio. Welcome to Trace FM. Thank it's you. a real honor to have you guys in the building. Now, let's start with uh, music in Uganda. How would you guys place it? How How is it in terms of like, you know, how Afrobeats is taking over the globe? You know what I mean? But music in Uganda, in terms of Africa, how's it performing? Um, should I answer that? Um, okay. Let me as an something. artist yeah. first. Uh, yes. uh, as an artist, um, let me speak on the side of the market Yeah. Uh, as a consumer first. Um, mm-hmm. Ugandans consume every kind of music. Mm. Like, they don't like box themselves yes. in just a small... Like, for as long as the vibe is nice, the song is nice, they will consume it. Um, right now, of course, we, we've been having, like, more new talent to, into the industry. Of yes. course, I myself, it's just two years, mm-hmm. and more are there doing their thing. So uh, we're just trying to push. Actually, even my label signed a new artist, so just more new talent into the industry. Yes. Um, of course, me personally, on my side, my music has been doing so good globally. Mm. Like, I can see the tr- uh, attraction, the attention. I see the billboards out yeah, in NY. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so far, I have, I've, like, I would say, the Azawi, like, a year ago, has, uh-huh. the Azawi now has bigger la- la- leverage than the Azawi a year ago. So a year like ago. I've, yeah, like I've grown so, so it's big. blowing up. Yeah, it's blowing up. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Sheila, for you who's in the industry, you've been in the industry and of course you talk to so many different musicians. How would you place Uganda music? Um, I feel like there's a new revolution of artists. I mean, like, as though we came out of nowhere as... Till yes. now we're like, where did this girl just come, come from and just like, you know, mm. blow everyone off their feet? Yes. And I feel like um, with the Ugandan labels as well, they're paying quite attention to marketing, you know, the way even Swangs works with us always, yes. you know, amazing. They're, they're learning the culture of pushing. Mm. Before they were like, why are Nigerian artists doing this? Why are Nigerian? And I always tell people, yes. you know, music is beyond uh, going to a music studio. Mm. It's, it's doing PR, culture it's doing great, yes. you know, great music videos. And I feel like, they're getting there, but the new generation, mm. I'm telling you, Africa need, needs to watch out for them. I agree. I mean, I've spent some time in uh, UG, you know about this, uh, yeah. in November. And even if you guys were in a lockdown, mm-hmm. uh, yes, I was in a couple of clubs after the <laughs> lockdown yeah. and I was like, I hope they don't pick me up from here. But it was so vibrant and I love how you guys show love to all of your musicians, yeah. right? Yeah. What is it like? I mean, you guys are part of you know East Africa. Mm. What is it looking from outside into mm-hmm. Kenya. What is it that we do wrong? Because over here, we show our love, but you guys, hands down, do it way better than way we better. do. Way better. What is it? I think, uh, uh, first of all, they call us the entertainment capital. Like, we like celebrating. Oh, yes. So we celebrate Enjoyment. our own people. Yeah, we celebrate our own people, our own artists. We just like having a good time. Like, if you came out and you just want to, like, you know, mingle, mix, like, eat, drink, mm. and, you know, just good vibes, no negativity. Yes. Like, we're down for, uh, for that, always. Like, we just like partying. So, like. In, ta- in terms of that, just directly translates to you guys always supporting yeah, yeah. the artists. Yeah, of course. I feel like, like, yeah, Ugandans, too, like, I think when Martha was on the show yesterday, she yes. said... Kenyans drink. I'm quoting her. Uh-huh. <laughs> she said, "Kenyans drink, yes, but Ugandans party a lot." 
So while you're partying, you're mm. consuming a lot of music from mm. different, like, I mean, countries Artists, and yes. stuff. Yes. But talking about the Kenyan industry while well, in Uganda, I feel like Saudi Soul still plays like a big, you know, they're mm. really yeah. big in, in, in Uganda. Mm. And then, of course, the old artists, like, I'll call them the legends, like Nameless, who was singing at the time when Chameleon was like, you know? Yes. Nameless, I think. Oh, Wiry. Wiry. Yeah, yeah okay. but then I think with the new school artists, they need to do like, you see, a whole exchange of whereby they mm. come to Uganda do some mu- music tours and yes. stuff and also I was telling Martha that it's, it's oh, hold on the Martha that Sheila is referring to is actually Boomplay. the MD of Boomplay yes yes, yes. Mm. so um, so pretty much like it's the new generation artists from Nairobi we don't hear so much from them yes I don't know why it's happening like that <laughs> I don't know if I should take what um, Eric Omonde was posting, that people are a bit relaxed here nowadays. I'm, I mean, from, I'll tell you this, what is different, and uh, I admire this about different parts of Africa, right? Like, yeah. say for you, Azawi, you're yeah. here, you're already yeah. doing a media run. This yeah. doesn't happen as much. Kenyan musicians, and I can safely say it, right? Yeah. Because I'm in touch with so many different parts of the continent. Mm. Saudi Soul do it very well. A couple yeah. of guys, KRG was in, Uga- was in TZ at some point, mm-hmm. but guys is, oh, actually, I'll say it. Mbuzi Gang also were in Uganda and they blew up. Yeah. They've actually got a, a lot of features from Uganda on their latest yeah. um, album. And the numbers for them were actually very good. But it's just one of those things where people do not invest in going to other countries to know, to be known by another audience. Yeah. 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 I think they need to understand that this is okay, yes, it is talent, it's vibes, it's a passion, but mm. then at the end of the day, this is a job. Yes. Like, you have to really get serious if you want to really be that brand that you admire. Mm. You have to be intentional about everything from the ground, from mm-hmm. the production to promotion to the way you present yourself to performances. Like, they have to really get tight with that. Okay, know? now, um, as we continue with this conversation, over here... About a month or so ago, we had a, a Trace Twitter space and we were talking uh, on International Women's Day, right? Mm-hmm. And it was very interesting talking to like heavyweights in the industry who've gone through this and that. And I've got to pose this question to both of you. In Uganda, do you, uh, what are some of the challenges, challenges you face as a woman in the industry? Of course, uh, I don't know. It's a thing in Africa, like women are always underestimated, like, mm. People think like we are light or we are weaklings. Uh, is that the right word? Yes. But as time has gone by, the generation has changed. Now we know how to make money. We know how to make our own decisions and uh, stand on them. And at some point, it, it threatens some people. It's like we're going to like overtake and yes. take the power away. But no, we're just like, we're just like, uh, uh, we're just, how do, how do I phrase it? Like, we just want to like can't be put down. Yeah, we can't be put down yes. and we just want to like get our space and our place mm. and you know stand and do our thing without being intimidated by anyone and some people don't take it uh, good but yeah. At this point we don't even care like we don't You're care. just like you know what? Uh, Sheila yeah. with a thick skin. <laughs> tell me about no. this. <laughs> I've no, got to throw in the thick skin. You know what, Calvin, let yes. me tell you one thing. I I keep saying this to people like you know, in the entertainment space, because I work in, I feel like I work in the larger space, you know, mm. like West African. Yes. I know for, for like, for a fact that all the top artists have ladies as their managers, mm-hmm. you know, even like look at Boomplay, that's the lady. Yes. Look at like, when you go to like Empire, where I work, like, you know, there's TT. The different ladies who are actually taking the biggest decisions yes. and leading, you know, the entertainment space. So I feel like it's if you don't choose a woman on your team in the entertainment space, you are missing a lot. I'm a perfect example. Like, I mean, the manager <laughs> is, is a lady. Oh, the manager. Jayla, she, yeah. she sent me a message uh, early in the week and she was like, hey, we want to come on the show. Yeah. Now, I like that we're talking about that and I really want us to deep dive into music from Uganda and I've got two songs which both of you are actually on now I want to start with a song called Tick Tock ah. Baby Cool <laughs> Sheila's in this song mm. video's pretty dope mm. tell me about this song no like I, if I'm to be completely honest yeah so I was doing I do events yes and I think Baby Cool was coming from the studio with uh, with a DJ DJ Lito 
they found me when I was, I'm not going to say drunk, but they're like, you know what, you want to jump on the song? Yeah. I said, all right, cool. I'm like, no problem. The next morning, uh-huh. my boyfriend kept telling me, like, you know, you accepted to be on a song. I said, what song? Oh. So later, God. they sent me the song. Uh-huh. I said, well, what is going on? You didn't even know. You didn't no, remember. No, I had accepted, but yes. I, don't, I didn't remember. Was, yes. You know, I didn't think that I was going to be mentioned. In the song. I just thought I was going to do no more PR that I do, like to push yeah, the song yeah. and stuff. But I like that. I like but that. But Bebe Cool, like I've known him for years. Like me and him are like very good friends. Yes. Like when he does concerts, I'm one of the first people like to buy tables. So like I couldn't go back. Do you understand? But also... It's not a bad thing because now you're seeing influencers like Pokali mm. in Nigeria, like yeah. has one of the biggest hits. People think he he he's a singer, but he's just a dancer and an influencer. He's actually the guy who showed who um showed um Black Sheriff to yes. Animal. He's played a huge Yes, yes, yes. Like Pokali has played a huge part role. So people are getting into that as well. But yes. for that specific Project. It was uh-huh. just like vibes, yeah. I love yeah. it. That's a testimony right there. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah? Yeah. And you staying humble. Thank you. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. Come on. <laughs> come for us. I love it. I love it. I love it. But you know what? Let me tell you this. Like I was just telling you off the mic, right? Mm. Um, when I listen to the body of work, all of it, the 16 tracks and all of that, mm. um, there's so many different facets I got to know uh, about you, right? And one of the things that I kind of did get is you actually do like dance hall. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got that right. I got that right. <laughs> yeah. I was listening to it and I was like, "Yeah, she likes dancehall." Yes, so I have, I have it. you have it, right? Mm, so, yeah. what are some of the foremost genres for you? Like the genres you spend a lot of time listening to? Honestly, I listen to everything. Yes, I listen to. There's a point when I'm just listening to Kadongo Kam. I don't know if you know Kadongo Kam. No, no. Tell me about Kadongo. Like it's like a. Ch- it's more like folk Ugandan music. Ah, yeah, yes. like folk fusion. Folk fusion. Yes, yeah. There's a point for that. Sometimes I'm listening to Congolese you know, old. Oh, that's music. my that's my home yeah, country. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'm listening to reggae. Sometimes it's Afrobeat. Uh huh. So I I listen like I can be inspired by any kind of genre. Like, so I don't I wouldn't say that I I have a specific S- specific sound. Yeah. Who's the biggest dancehall artist for you? Um. Wow. Can I just sing this? Uh, this go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let me kill <laughs> this bit. The them at feed the summer, girl the shadonia, bartender chess aromia, Benz and Bima and Ama, bike fit by love upon the beat, we are going at the somia. Girl, I get away to the river, so me beat right, river, so me beat like the thing, like a drama. The girl them raving, hot like the sun, vibes so sweet, you can down every man to a girl. Hey! Couple love, couple, I like conscience. Hey! <laughs> Did you record that video? We gotta send it to conscience, man, because here's the thing, I think, yeah. actually, have you met him before? No, we haven't. Oh, no, no, yeah. no. no. I, I've been trying to tell you. I don't know what happened, but oh. I've been trying like, to get in no, touch with the re- <laughs> Listen, Kinoti, get that video. We're going to send it to Conscience. Please, I'll no, 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 no. <laughs> that, that was so, so perfect. And I like yeah. for how you went from zero to 100. Like, boom, <laughs> instant. That was lovely. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a big fan of dancehall. I think there's a point where dancehall was really doing like crazy in Uganda. Okay, Conscience yeah. has been to Uganda more, so probably times. like five times. Yeah. yeah. You know, Go- and yeah. it was like... Full like full concert. Yeah, yeah, they really love him down there. Conscience, yeah. Conscience yeah. spends quite a bit of time over here. I mean, he was here for New Year's, right? This uh, year, he, and uh, he spent quite a bit of time even after. So that was pretty, pretty dope. Yeah, yeah, now, um, talking about the album and everything, um, it's been doing very well. Where yeah. do you want to take it? I want to take it wherever it can reach. Mm. Like I, like I don't have like a specific place, but. Wherever it can go, yes. I want to go with it. I want to like experience this entire journey with it. Mm-hmm. Of course, uh, it was uh, a process that took me over like eighteen months to get it done with my team. Oh so wow! I just want to experience that body of work with other people from oh. across the world. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you: When you say eighteen months, right? So you dropped the EP while you were dropping the EP when it was hot. You yeah, know. when I was yeah when, like, I, at that point, because oh. after dropping the EP, I didn't have like a lot of content, mm. so it was like intense uh, studio sessions from down now and then. Sometimes like, I could do like three songs mm. in a day, or two songs in a day. So it it got to a point where the work was too much, and mm. we were like, you know what, let's just get 
an let's, album out. Let's there. just get an album yeah, done. So we we were we got intention about it. Mm. We got the team involved and everyone was aligned and yeah. boom. I like that. African music was out. Yeah. African music man yeah. mm. doing amazing numbers. Now Sheila, I saw most recently you were in Ghana. Now Ghana's one of the places where everybody's got to visit if you're about music, especially on the continent, <laughs> blowing up each and every year, you know, dirty December, it's a thing. Now, Are you going in December? Uh, <laughs> Hey, chop. <laughs> this is your fair warning. Man's not going to be hit. You know what I mean? So how's, how's the reception of uh, music from Uganda over there? Because one of the things that I did when I was out in Nigeria early yeah. this year, yeah. I was trying to see who are the people they're listening to, understanding mm -hmm. what is it that we're doing over here that yeah. we can perfect to make sure that our music is well Process represented. Over. Yeah. Um, to be honest, like, first of all, it was last minute and it was my first time in Ghana. Okay. Do you understand? Uh -huh. So when I went to Ghana, I was just like for a music conference and I was just sharing my insights on like Digital PR mm. as I, I'm the one who did the project for Touch It. Yes. And I think it blew out. It got its first number one in Uganda. Touch It was massive, man. Yeah. yeah. Most Empire. of these songs that actually are big, like first get their number one in Uganda. Yeah. Mm. So I've also worked with Kwame, who is also under like um, Linux, which is the same as Kitty and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was just sharing my insights. But when I was going out to the club, mm. I was, you know, trying to understand, trying to the, listen, yeah. listen and stuff. I actually figured out Job Boy is quite big in, in Ghana and stuff. Mm. But since it was the first time I was there for four days, I didn't do so much. Mm -hmm. But I'm going again. But yes. this time it's going to be more, you know, more tactical and stuff. I didn't really, there wasn't East African music playing, but there we was have. Not. We, yeah. we have, got, I mean, I agree, we've got some work to do. Yeah, we're right? going to, yeah, yeah we're I think Ghana is more into hip hop. Yeah. It's like, this guy is no, like hip -hop. Yeah, they do hip hop and Afrobeats, but mm. I mean, we need to get some collaborations mm. down there. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, mean, I even realize themselves, they play more Nigerian, like, mm, Nigerian mm. music uh, than music from Ghana. Yeah. We had, uh, we had Manifest in the studio a couple yeah. of weeks ago, of course. Mm. Uh, anytime you guys want to connect with him. Um, Sakodi was here as well uh, mm. last year, uh, last year in November or something. Yeah? So all of these guys are coming through and I like how they'll get on the plane, hop, like, come here. Yeah. As yeah. I would do an amazing song with King Prince. I have his voice is like... Oh. Yeah, I feel like this. <laughs> there we go. I like this. It'll be like, you know. Heavy yeah. music business being discussed on the yeah. show. Yeah. I, I love it. Now, if um every single time a musician or someone notable like you are, you yeah. know, you are, you're all about and around music. Azawi, let's step aside from your music, right? Oh. Of course, you listen to a lot of other music. If you guys were to give the spotlight on five other musicians who are not known in the in Uganda, who mm. would it be? That's a nice one. <laughs> Joshua Barak. No, hold on. i got to even write yeah. this down. So you said Joshua Barak? Joshua Barak. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, my God. I'm forgetting the name. Okay, let's keep it moving. Sheila, you can jump in as well. I was going to say the same boy. Oh, no. <laughs> he is so cute. Joshua Barak times two. Uh-huh. Uh, um, oh, my God. Oh my God. Some new cuts. You guys can even check yeah, your phones and probably send it to you. <laughs> yeah. Sheila, who else? There's lots, lots of artists. I mean, there's... Uh, like there's... Uh, uh, oh, as they, they, as they snap their uh, fingers. Pasha. Uh, Pasha. Yeah, Elijah Chitaka. Oh, Elijah T-I? Yeah. How do you spell that? T-I? Ch Chitaka. Chitaka. Okay. K -I. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, there's another one. Please, oh my God. I mean, I hope I didn't. Sheila, who else? You there's, said Pasha. Uh, there's a boy called Dollar Gang. He's great. Dollar Gang. Yeah, he's he's a great artist. What genre is that? He does Afrobeat. If you listen to him, you'd think he's a mixture of like Omale, mm. Rema, in one. Oh. This guy that's uh, no letting go. Cohen. 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 Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like this. So Cohen is, I think he's working with. Cohen. Um, being groomed. I think so far my eyes. Uh, the, the other one I've been like. Kamazi, but Kamazi, I don't know what's wrong with you. Yes. You don't <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. we'll get to all of this. Now, yeah. I'm asking all of that to ask this, right? Mm -hmm. Do you feel as people in the industry, music industry in Uganda, that Kenya is representing Ugandan music fully? Take and I want again. you guys, as people, you as people mm -hmm. in the industry, right? Mm -hmm. oh. you're, you're, you know, you're in, you're in music, yeah. uh, you know, making sure that it uh, gets the push, publicity and yeah. everything. You're an artist, right? Would mm -hmm. you say that 
we are receiving your music very well. Are we giving you guys a big wall saying, no, we don't want to play it, what, what, what? Um, first, I would say, like, you guys are receptive. Mm. You like our music, and it's good. However, I feel like we should also use the opportunity that you guys love our music and be more, more intentional. Like, not just let it, oh, they will love oh, the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's, it's very just like, yeah, yeah we're receptive, but yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, it. Yeah. What about you, Sheila? So are you talking about, like, Tress, as Tress? No, or just Kenya. 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 Yes. Um, I feel like, like I said to you, like me, I look at music as a business, you mm. know. So people sing. I feel like Ugandans need to get this out of this thing of people sing because it's their dream or because they can sing. You know, yeah. it's beyond going to studio, like I said. Yes. I feel like there's so much more to be done. You mm. know, people need to come down here. I mean, get interviews here, connect with people like Calvin. You guys are amazing. Like even Math of Bonplay was like really, really amazing. Mm. And be more accessible and also be in touch with different people. Yes. But I feel like what Kenya is doing is enough because mm. also life is a two-way thing. You give in, I give in. Yes. People won't listen to what they don't know about. People won't listen to what they don't know is released or what's going to be released. Yes. So it's pretty much like that. I believe in, I, I love, when I speak about music, I try to be so fair. I don't want to be like, no, you know, Kenyans are not listening to music. Mm. They're listening to us, are we? I have the, the how do they call it, that app, what is it called? Song Boost. Yes. I see, like, I have an artist, so I can see me, our music being played here. So yeah, and, and I think Kenya is even uh, blessed. Like you guys, you guys have like most of the biggest uh, uh, offices, music, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah like, music distribution yeah, offices, yeah, yeah, DSPs, trays, all of that. A uh, boom play, like, yes. You guys are blessed. Mm. We, if we had that in Uganda, it would have actually even been much easier for us, like to push our to music. Push. Yeah, but we have to come here to access that. No, but here's the thing, man. Here at Trace, we're definitely all about breaking barriers. And I love the fact that you guys are here. We're going to be conversing about all of that and having a direct link, not only for you guys, but also for everybody else who's on the come up over there or is an artist who's been trying to get their music onto Trace. So we're going to have that conversation. Now, I want to roll out. And of course, we're also going to, uh, we're, we're also going to be championing your music. Now, I want to roll out with this song over here. Craven... Heavy. Ca craving, craving you, you heavy. heavy. Ah. Yes. Big <laughs> tune. Now, time's up. But I want to tell you guys this. I appreciate you guys very much for taking time to come onto the show. I appreciate you guys for doing what you're doing. Two very powerful women in the industry. You understand? Thank you. Thank for you so much, on. Calvin. Yes. <laughs> we're about to we're about to have a lot of conversations. Uh, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram. Azawi, what's your Instagram? Uh, Zari Official, Zari. Facebook, Azari Official, yes. Twitter, Azari Official. Sheila? Gashumba. Gashumba. Yeah, like a boss. I like that. <laughs> All right. <laughs>